Hey guys, Kevin here with CrossFit Prescott Valley. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching every week. Uh, we really do appreciate it. So please, if you're enjoying what you see, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're not gonna miss anything we have for you. Thanks guys. All right, everyone, so we're gonna continue on with our zone diet uh, tutorial here. So today's we're gonna focus on three things in our third part of the series. We're gonna focus on uh, how to find your LBM, so we're gonna take some basic measurements, show you how to do that today. Then we're gonna use that LBM, which is your lean body mass, to calculate a prescription for you. And then uh, we're gonna use that prescription to help you find how many blocks a day you should be eating. And so stay tuned, we're gonna go through all of those steps. All right guys, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of learn how to calculate what your lean body mass is. And we're gonna just use an anthropometric tape measure. That means you're gonna measure body parts and calculate what your lean body mass is based on what you actually weigh and those calculations. Um, this is a really effective way to do it, it's cheap. Um, it can be off a couple percentages, um, anywhere from five to even 11, 12% either way. So just keep that in mind, but it'll get you started for sure. So first thing you want to do is you want to know how much you weigh. So simple scale, okay, step on the scale, weigh yourself, and currently I weigh 185 pounds. So once you know how much you weigh, you're just going to record that, 185 pounds. You're also going to want to know how tall you are. So I'm 5 feet 9 inches at 185 pounds. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some measurements. And for guys, you're going to measure uh, two parts. Now, this is based on how the U.S. Navy does their calculations. So uh, for simplicity, we're going to go with that. But guys, you're going to take a measurement at your navel, okay, and around your waist there, okay? And you're also going to take another measurement around your neck, okay? So those are the two things that you'll need to know. So just taking my measurements quickly by myself, all right? My navel uh, circumference there around my waist was 33 and a half inches, and my neck was at 15 inches. What I did is I just found a basic U.S. Navy formula calculator. If you just Google search that, put that into the uh, search term, Navy body fat percentage calculator. You can get all kinds of online calculators to use. And then you're just gonna use the information that you found and you're gonna plug it in. So in these fields, okay, I selected male. I weigh 185 pounds. You put in your height, five feet, nine inches. I put in my measurement at my waist, which was 33 inches. And then my neck was 15 inches. And it just gives you an estimate of what your body fat percentage is. And currently mine's at 17%. Um, and so we're going to use that information now to calculate how many blocks I should have for my prescription. So we're going to get a little bit mathy here, but stick with me because it'll make a lot of sense. Okay. So we use these measurements to find how much our percent body fat is based on the U S Navy calculator. What we're going to do is we're going to take your actual weight, which is 185 pounds. Okay. You're going to multiply that times 0.17 and that 0.17 comes from the 17% body fat. Okay, and that's gonna give you a poundage of 31 pounds. This number right here is how much body fat I have minus lean body mass, okay? So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find how much we weigh minus all the fat on our body. So if I would subtract 31 from 185 pounds, that's gonna give me my lean body mass, which is the number I need to know to calculate my blocks. So calculating and doing all the math, uh, if 31 pounds is how much I weigh with body fat, um, I subtract that 31 from 185 pounds and that gives me a lean body mass of 154 pounds. Now, to calculate for your blocks, one thing you're going to want to know is what your activity is like. And we're going to call this the baseline prescription. So if you do typically like one hour of CrossFit a day and then in the middle during your day like your job is not too physically demanding, then about a 0.7 is about the activity level that you would want to calculate with. So 154 pounds lean body mass times 0.7, which is the activity level that I have, you're going to divide that by seven. And this number comes from the seven grams of protein per block, because you want to make sure that you have um, the protein that you need to support your lean body mass. 
Um, if you do that calculation, it's going to give you a number of 15.4. 15.4 is the total number of blocks that you're going to get for your day. So what we've done here now is now that we calculated how many blocks we get, we're going to take those blocks and we're going to divide them or distribute them throughout the day. And that's going to show you how many blocks you get per meal. Um, I went ahead and I just took this number from 15.4 and I made it 16 to make my math easier. And I didn't go down to 14 because I don't want to deprive myself of the food to start. I want to make sure that I go up. I find that to be more beneficial because um, you don't want to be too hungry when you start. Okay. But if I divide these blocks up throughout the day, I did a four block breakfast, a two block snack, a four block lunch, a two block snack, and a four block dinner. In future episodes, we'll kind of get into how you can um, build your meals based on that. But for today, that's what we did. We calculated what our lean body mass was. We used anthropometric measuring. We used a scale. We put those numbers into any basic online calculator. So if you search Navy anthropometric uh, measurements, you can find that easily. Put in your stats. It'll give you a body fat percentage. Use that to find your lean body mass. Multiply by 0.7 which is your activity level, divided by seven, and that's gonna give you what we call the baseline prescription. So that's like for your normal day. You wake up, you get on with your day, maybe you work out that day. Um, that's what you're looking for, guys. All right, stay tuned for more information. I know there's a lot, but there's a lot more info coming. All right, guys, it is time for the water reveal. This week, we're gonna reveal a heavy day. So we're gonna do two of them this week, all right? So on one of these days this week, we're gonna do seven attempts. So that means you get seven chances to perform a max for the day of one rep max. This is exciting. You guys are gonna love this one. Clean and jerk, and I'm gonna abbreviate, okay? So guys, this week we're gonna do a one rep max clean and jerk. So make sure you come on in. You never know what day it's gonna be, and we'll have some fun with it. All right, guys.